Couple of really interesting tips here. I'm using cranberries and I've soaked them in fresh orange juice overnight and they're all plumped up. So these are dry cranberries that have been soaked. I've got some almonds. Now, if you're allergic to nuts, don't use them. Use a seed, um, use a different seed or bulk up these seeds, which is sunflower and pepitas. And I've got some cinnamon, some oats, shredded coconut, and I've got some coconut sugar. Right into here. Next is adding the cranberries that's been soaking in the orange juice. You don't drain the orange juice out. And then we're gonna add the syrup and it's all gonna come in here. And then the last ingredient is a pinch of salt. Like that's enough. It's super yummy. Like it's really, really yummy. Just go around the sides too, by the way, guys, like at home, just push, push here. So it's nice and even there and even take that down and run that like that so you get a nice even edge. Cut into the middle first and a temporary line, right? Temporary line means I'm not trying to make a direct like <laughs> thing to the bottom. I'm just giving it access. Oh, that looks like a masterpiece, doesn't it? Wow. Okay, into the oven and we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes and then we're gonna check it. There was a flat 30 minutes on 180 degrees. And I'm so glad that we cut those temporary lines in because it's so much easier to run this knife through. They've cooled down a little and definitely place them on a wire rack to cool down. I want to eat one now. So I'm going to put a few on a plate for everybody. And like I said, you can melt chocolate on top. You could put chocolate chips in them. I'd actually prefer to have chocolate on top, to be honest. Oh, they're so great. Cooked beautifully. Hmm, they're really good. Really, really good. Mmm, they're really good. Yummy. The orange juice and the cranberry. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh my god, they're so good. They're so hearty. I really want to dip them in cacao paste just to have that bit of chocolate, you know? Mmm, yum. I think the best thing about my goji and apricot balls is them dipped in chocolate. And I did this the other day. I rolled them, I dipped half of them in chocolate, like half of the ball in chocolate, then I put in the fridge. And then like an hour later I ate it. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then I heated up the chocolate again and um, I double dipped it. <laughs> and put them back in the fridge. Oh my God. And I love cacao paste, by the way, or liquor. It's called, Google it. Um, it's amazing. And if you have my um, Celebrate Your Sweet Tooth cookbook, which is all sweets and all glory, I do use cacao paste in my brownie recipe. So I'm using almonds for, for the base of this incredible ball that's dipped in chocolate twice. I need to keep saying that because I can't help it. And you don't need to use almonds. You could use cashews, peanuts, walnuts, you know, macadamia nuts, pine nuts, whatever. Or if you're allergic to, to nuts, you could use a seed. It's just like completely up to you. Anyway, I'm gonna process them. And now this is where everything else goes in the coconut, goji berries, currants or sultanas or raisins, whatever you have, apricots, vanilla, the, the maple syrup, the almonds, the goji berries, the sultanas, the coconut. It's all in here. Now you just want a pinch of salt. Oh, 
Okay. This is great. Oh my God. So excited to double dip these in chocolate. Okay, calm down everybody, just calm down. Now I'm gonna weigh each one out because I want the perfect ball. Okay, what do I want here? I want 35 grams is good. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna roll these balls. So what's really important about rolling these balls is squishing them a couple of times and then rolling them into a ball. And as I do that and line up a whole tray of these, then I'm gonna dip them in my chocolate. And I'm only gonna dip in half. And then I'm gonna put them in the fridge and then I know I'm gonna come back and wanna double dip them. <laughs> It's going to go in the freezer. This is completely different. This is loads of vegetables and no flour and no eggs and no butter and no white sugar and it's not light and fluffy. It's very dense and full of protein. And this is what they look like. So really all I've done is grab some plain flax seeds. You know, let them sit there in the water for about 15 minutes until you get this really kind of gooey egg type texture. I'm using carrot, and pumpkin and I've just grated them and I want to grate an apple as well um, just to add a little bit of sweetness to it and a little bit more texture because when you bake apples and there's cinnamon in this it makes everything just so delicious so you can use any apple this is a random apple I had around it could be a red apple it could even be a pear it could be whatever you like I'm gonna put these veggies into this bowl Give it a good mix, come over to the sink and just run out bring any moisture. Into that, I'm gonna add a little banana. Just wanna mash this up. I'm gonna add my all my liquids into here. So my flax eggs, coconut milk, just a little bit of olive oil, some maple. This is a really good mix. I'm gonna take my almond meal, just make sure the, the lumps are out as much as you can. Some baking powder, coconut sugar, and then the hemp seeds. And then we want a good pinch of salt. Just gonna mix this up with a fork, just briefly. Normally muffins are um, mixed very gently. That's one thing I do know for sure. So I'm not mixing this like an intense human, like, like that. I'm just really just gently folding it all and making sure it's all combined. Oh, yum. Oh, that's delicious. I'm gonna add, okay, I forgot to add the cinnamon. Oh my goodness, I need to add the cinnamon. Cynthia, I got really distracted then. I was talking away. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Okay, there it is. There's the good smell that I'm after. Yeah, they're really rustic and they're very moist actually. I mean, have a look at this. This one's cooled down completely, but have a look inside. I really hope you enjoy this recipe. It's very hearty. Very loving on the body. Super healthy.